All right, thanks, Mike. Well, East 4th Street, just west of the freeway overpass, has changed a lot in the last few days. The area now houses a new temporary homeless shelter, replacing the one at the Reno Event Center. John Potter was there today to see the finishing touches. Just under 200 homeless are moving in tonight. At noon today, this storage trailer to hold their belongings was installed. There are porta potties and tents for shade and meals. Three huge tents totaling 20,000 square feet for sleeping. Mattresses spaced six feet for social distancing. It's kind of the best we have at this point. And this is the showers trailer with water and electricity hooked up. It took a judge's ruling to get this all done. A neighboring shop stopped the city from building this, saying their business would be hurt. That court order was lifted last week, and since then, it's been fast work here. It went from an idea to construct it in 10 days. Shelters were overcrowded before COVID. Now with social distancing, this won't house them all. The city says 600 homeless have sought shelter, while 400 more have not. Reno's homeless population is estimated at up to 1,200. I just think there's just a lack of shelter and there's more people choosing to live out on the streets and out on the river. Those are the people they want to bring inside. There's shelter here from the hot sun. Fans will be installed and the sides can open up for air. Here we'll have it all. We'll have, you know, we're serving breakfast, lunch, dinner. But it's all temporary. The city needs another permanent shelter. Or else winterize this facility if we don't have a, a, a longer term site ready to go. The city has its eye on nearby Governor's Bowl Park for another permanent structure. It's not a sure thing yet. They plan a decision by October. It won't be easy. Nobody wants a homeless center use near them. That's just fundamental to human nature. Um, but it's an important use, it's an important service, and it has to go somewhere. But as long as we can get the square footage and get the people inside, you know, that's what I'm here to do is run the shelters and, and shelter as many people as we can. Covering the story, John Potter, 2 News.